nakabalik na ang mamamahayag at aktibistang si Brandon Lee sa Estados Unidos, tatlong buwan matapos ang tangkang pagpaslang sa kanya ng mga pinaghihinala ang ahente ng Armed Forces of the Philippines. Tumating sa San Francisco si Brandon kasama ang inang si Luis noong October 26 ng madaling araw, lula ng isang air ambulance. Kasalukuyang ipinagpapatuloy ang kanyang gamutan at pagpapagaling sa isang pampublikong pagamutan sa nasabing lungsod. Sa isinagawang press conference sa San Francisco City Hall upang ipagdiwang ang pababalik ni Brandon, ibinahagi ng kanyang inang si Luis kung bakit naniniwala silang malaki ang kinalaman ng militar sa tangkang pagpaslang sa kanyang anak at ang pagkadismaya niya sa isinasagawang investigasyon. Mulan kept talking to him. He would not allow him to lose consciousness. Brandon tells his companions it was the army. Brandon made it to Baguio General Hospital where the priority was to stop the bleeding. He had already lost so much blood. A few days later, the anesthesiologist stopped by to visit Brandon at his bedside. He asked Brandon, do you remember what your last words were before you went under? Brandon replies, no. The anesthesiologist tells him, army. Although Brandon was losing consciousness, Brandon was determined to tell his story. The chief of police from Lagawi and the police director of Ifugao interviewed Brandon's wife, Bernice, and myself. They told us that their investigation came up blank. Using the bullet found in the door of Brandon's family home in Lagawi, they could not determine what type of weapon the bullet was discharged from. They wanted the bullet still lodged in Brandon's body. I told them, if they couldn't determine the type of weapon using the bullet found in the door, it wouldn't make any difference if they had the bullet still lodged in Brandon's body. So they wanted to make the evidence disappear. I was told that the Philippine National Police work hand in hand with the armed forces of the Philippines. Question after question, their stories didn't match. I got up and grabbed my daughter-in-law and informed the police that the interview was over and we were leaving. Nagpasalamat din si Luis sa malawak na suporta sa kanilang pamilya at sa mga doktor at nurse na nagligtas kay Brandon sa bingit ng kamatayan at nag-aruga upang ito ay lumakas at makabiyahe. Nanawagan naman ang bagong alyansang makabayan USA sa kagyat na paghinto ng bilyon-bilyong ayudang militar ng US sa Pilipinas na nagagamit sa panggigipit at pagpaslang sa mga aktivista at inosenteng sibilyan. Samantala, sa kanyang Twitter account, nagpahayag ng kasiyahan si US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sa ligtas na pagdating ni Lee. Inulit din ng mambabatas ang kanyang panawagan sa gobyerno ng Pilipinas para sa isang impartial at masinsing investigasyon. Maaalala na noong August 6 ng gabi ay pinagbabaril si Brandon sa tapat ng kanilang bahay sa Lagawe, Ifugao. Sa lubha ng tinamong sugat at pinsala, inilagak siya sa intensive care unit at umabot ng ilang buwan bago pinayagan ng mga doktor na bumiyahe pabalik ng U.S. Music